from blue lava to a blood waterfall. There are truly so many miraculous things in this world that I'm sure you have never heard about. I'm Melissa Mladi, your host, and here are your top 10 unusual things you will see for the first time in your life. In our number 10 spot, we have the crab migration. Every year on Christmas Island, a wonderful natural event occurs that has blown the minds of people everywhere. 120 million red crabs make their way into the ocean. This happens every year in December on this island that is an Australian external territory and is located in the Indian Ocean. Apparently they emerge from the forest and make their way to the ocean to breed. That's a lot of crabs in heat. The locals love it of course and are used to it and in fact they try as best as they can to help them on their journey to the water. How magical. And the crabs are red and they come out in December on Christmas Island. How festive. I must put this on my bucket list. In our number 9 spot we have blue lava. Yes, as miraculous as this may sound, lava may appear to be blue in one area. In Indonesia, there is a volcano that has blue lava. This volcano is called Kawa Ijen. Technically the lava itself is not blue, it's the same as lava from any other volcano. But what makes it different from the other volcanoes is that this volcano has an extremely high quantity of sulfuric gas. When exposed to the oxygen in the air, the sulfur will burn and its flames will be bright blue. There's so much sulfur and that is why the lava appears to be blue. But this is only visible at night. Pretty awesome. In our number 8 spot we have the green sun. I am one to love sunrise and sunset so the idea or the possibility of seeing it in a different way is so cool to me. It's known as the green flash. Basically at a very specific point when the sun is rising or when it is setting it will appear green. Apparently it is hard to see it unless you are looking at it from the water and it is only for a second or two. It sounds Sounds magical to be honest. I hope I see it at some point in my life. There is some folklore attached to it where it is said that after you see the green flash, you'll never go wrong in matters of the heart. That's quite vague to be frank, but whatever. I like the thought of having blissful interactions with people for the rest of my life. I must try to see this flash. In our number 7 spot we have underwater circles. Deep in the ocean you will see a most miraculous thing. A giant symmetrical circle so detailed and complex that it makes you think that there's no way that this wasn't man made. Well you would be wrong. It's made by a specific fish called the puffer fish and apparently the male puffers make these ornate circles to attract mates. Once these circles are formed, the females come to inspect them and then decide whether to mate with them or not. <laughs> Honestly this sounds a lot like human beings. Men you know get their lives together and when the females see that they're neat and tidy, have a job and adult to some extent, they feel comfortable to mate with them. <laughs> ah, We are all the same in this circle of life. Anyways this is really cool and my inner perfectionist is just so pleased to see such perfection. In our number 6 spot we have the biggest lightning show. I have always been drawn to lightning and I have always thought it to be so cool to witness, but I did not know that there was a place on earth where you could witness it for 160 days of the year. What? There is a lake in Venezuela called Lake Maracaibo and above this lake you can view a raging lightning storm for 160 days. Now that is something to see. I wonder if the people in the nearest town have trouble sleeping. I'm going to assume maybe not as they might be used to it. Apparently above this lake on average about 232 flashes occur each year. That honestly doesn't feel like much though when you hear on average the planet it experiences about 44 flashes per second. But still, in one area, that's a lot. It's quite the show to see. 
In our number five spot, we have the Monarch Butterfly Migration. I have always been a fan of butterflies, so this one truly excites me. To witness a monarch butterfly migration is to feel as if you are witnessing a miracle, a tourist has said. Across the USA and Mexico, you may be so lucky to witness this, especially in a reserve in Macheros, Mexico. You will find hundreds, if not millions, of butterflies flying around and mating. It looks truly miraculous. When I was a kid, I actually used to think that monarch butterflies were lucky because every time I would see one, something really miraculous would happen. So my younger self would have gone crazy to have seen a place like this. You can actually see this incredible phenomena at the Monarch Reserve in Mexico, and they recommend to go between late November to February when the butterflies are in their peak. In our number four spot, we have Rainbow Rocks. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, Melissa, come on, Rainbow Rocks, is this real? Yes, it most certainly is. There is a place called Yangye Dangsha National Geological Park in China, and inside this park are rocks that are technicolor. Some of the hills have rocks with stripes in different colors, and during the sunrise and sunset, you will see a beautiful rainbow breath taking scene unlike nothing you have ever seen before. What was once under the ocean over 540 million years ago, as tectonic plate collisions took place over the years, the land folded into mountains and rose above the sea. It is said that due to continuous river and wind erosion of the area over the thousands of years, that is how this area gained its colors. A must see in your lifetime. In our number three spot, we have Blood Falls. In the early 1900s, there was a waterfall discovered in Antarctica that was blood red. Of course, this mystified scientists for many years, as this was nothing they had ever seen before. Why was there a waterfall of blood coming from a glacier? How was this water red? Well, in 2003, it was discovered that the water was red due to high levels of iron in the water. When the water was exposed to the oxygen in the air, it became iron oxide, aka rust. So basically, it's really just a waterfall of rust. Not as cool as you would have thought, eh? But still, probably quite the sight to see. In our number two spot, we have flowers in the desert. In a desert called Atacama, located in Chile, a very strange phenomena occurs. It is called Deserito Florido. Apparently over 200 species of flowers inhabits this desert. This desert is one of the driest places on the planet, and the flowers only bloom during heavy rainfall around mid-August every five or six years. But when it does, it is beautiful to see. It's crazy because apparently some parts of this desert never even experience any rain, and that's how dry it is. But a large area does every so often, and the flower seeds lay dormant until it does. Other deserts apparently also experience a desert bloom, is what it's called, where flowers will bloom every so often. They include Death Valley National Park in California and the Glacier National Park in Montana. In our number one spot, we have rainbow trees. I had to leave the best to last. This is probably the coolest thing I have ever come across. Cross. Somewhere on this planet is a rainbow colored tree and it's waiting to take a selfie with me. Nope, this tree is not painted, it's a real tree. This is a rainbow eucalyptus tree, also known as Eucalyptus de Gulpta, and it is found in Southeast Asia such as Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, and the Philippines. When it sheds its bark, it reveals a bright green bark, and as it ages, it changes into blue, then purple, then orange, and then a maroon. It sheds in different areas at different times, thus creating a rainbow look. How wonderful. I can't believe I haven't ever heard of this before. I hope I get to see this at some point in my life. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for good vibes and more content like this. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host. Follow me on Insta or YouTube at Melissa Milotti, and I will see you next time. I hope that you have a good day, sir.